Okay, so this video is a little longer than most, but you know, I'm trying to get them done and I'm just, I'm not doing a very good job. So it's a little longer if you don't like pieces and parts, so fast forward through it, okay? Just fast forward through it. There's a lot of interesting things on here. Um, there's some of uh, the kids picking the kids up at school. Giovanni's little classroom, you can see through a little window and see him, which I, I think a little window is cool. Um, you can see down below the house here, Gianna down there playing, um, you know, finding a new path and a new play place down below where they're doing the construction of the walls. You can see up above on the terraza and what they're doing up there. Um, you are going to see us go to town. I took the kids and we went for a day in town after Sergio left. We went to It'd Be Like Sam's Club and Target, and we had so much fun. And then we went to Chuck E. Cheese. And let me tell you, if you have kids that don't get to get out and go shopping all the time, like we were doing in the States, I mean, you know, we did it all the time. It was just a given. The, the screams and the excitement that they have is just so dang cute. Um, you'll get to see them reading. Um, let's see, what else? I don't know. There's just all kinds of snippets on here. And at the very end is a band um, in a parade here in Guatemala. It's one of the school bands, the high school bands. And just think of the difference, I mean, in the States versus here. Just listen, give it a listen. Give it a listen. Enjoy the video, guys. Giovanni's classroom, just a little peek. After school, Gianna went for a little hike down below the house. We haven't been able to walk in this space because it was just a slant directly down, but the men had to build a path in order to be able to build a wall. Okay, watch out if they're working with the wheelbarrow. Amelia just can't help it. She had to join in as soon as she saw what Gianna was doing. And they just loved it, just walking on the little path. Look at, he's got to load the wheelbarrow. And there's the guardian. He's up there cleaning and sweeping the path. Every day, this thing is full of leaves and pine needles. There's a shot of the house, kind of what's going on. And they're building a wall, a rock wall, like what Gianna's hanging on to all the way across the front of the house. And she's gonna try to climb out of here. Let's see if she can do it. Be careful. Okay. Now, a big deal, a big deal. Good job. And I'm trying to get down. Bye. Bye. You can go over there. Up. Atta girl. You're going to wear yourself out. It's a good thing. Pull hard. There you go. Good job. She about wore herself out. Yay. And he's still sweeping behind her. And then there go the men. Off to lunch every day. Same routine. Still sweeping and she's still playing while they're at lunch. Hey, let's go take a look down below and see what's happening from a bird's eye so, view. Here we go, down the path so, ourselves. Here's, here's the land down below. Our land goes down here to just be on these little short Hi. bushes. Hi. My partner. The lake is beautiful. It's lunchtime for the men, so I'm coming down here to video. Be careful. You see how tall everything is? It doesn't look that tall when I take pictures or whatever. But on this wall here, let me see if I can come down a little bit more. I come to right here, okay? Right above the water spigot thing. So I'm gonna back up, you see? And that kind of puts it in perspective. So when I'm standing there, I'm just a little bit above that. This is pretty big. Look at that. And so the men put up this wall here and this extra wall here to fortify the wall that's already there. 
um, because it was it had gotten moist inside and was starting to crumble and we didn't want that we don't want to lose that so our idea is we're gonna your helicopter we are gonna open up our property ends right here okay so we're gonna build out to where these brown posts are temporary posts these are just our temporary posts we're gonna build out to here and move this whole gate and lighting system out to here to give us a parqueo, um, a, like a driveway, to park our cars on and a bigger backyard and utilize that space. And then we'll be able to walk, okay. We'll be able to walk under it and store things. We'll have like a little bodega here, a little, um, like a closet, if you will, a storage area to keep a lot of our stuff that we don't want, you know, up, up there. So let's walk down here and see what they're doing. And this is, oh, it's just so beautiful. Okay, here we go. Satellite dish from back in the day. They'll take that out. There was one there too. But here's the wall that you see here this, let's see. There's kind of a space in there. I think that we need to fortify all the way across is what we're going to have to do. But they're going to put in big posts and everything to get ready to put that parqueo out here. As you can imagine, they'll have to bury them down in the rock below. Let's go up here with Gianna. Up, up, up. Be careful. I don't know how solid all that is. What Come is over that? here with me. We don't need to play up there. Um, uh, but they already did all of that. Whoa. Okay. Don't throw things in. Don't fall in that bucket of water. Don't know why there's a bucket of water, but there is. Down, down, down we go. Yeah, mommy. Come on. Be careful. And here we go down here. But see, they put in the drainage and everything here. And this is metal, where you see these uh, strips through here. They, they went ahead and put in these metal, um, I don't know what you call it, rebar that they build, these metal rebars. And they, they build these themselves. It all takes time. Nothing came, comes pre-made. So this is underneath our house. Yeah. And this is all extra pipes extra firewood over there i don't know if you can see it if i can get in on that that's all extra firewood staying dry under there and then Mommy. so shh, just a minute honey so they're re they're going to build a wall all the way across in front and then this down here eventually we're going to build a little uh casita a little house like a a little apartment or an office we're not sure what we want there but they're using it as their workspace now and they'll build this wall to retain all of that ground there so we won't lose that as you can imagine when it rains it disappears and uh, our house may end up down there way way down there somewhere so we want to fortify everything before we move forward with anything else so that's what we're doing I spy a little lizard and she's going for it. Yeah. Eh, she's too slow. He's too fast. I don't know which, but she didn't catch him. Just sharing another beautiful Guatemalan sunset over the lake. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my gosh. It's probably about I don't know, six o'clock in the evening. You just can't beat it. Well, there sit my little avocados that I picked. I've got many more hanging all over this tree. I'm trying to wait for them to grow just a little bit more, but they're just, the tree is just full of avocados and they are delicious. Let me just tell you, free and delicious, just the way I like them. And got some more down here. 
Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And all of those up in there. Look at that. Holy camoly. Mm -mm. Oh, there's my kids. There's Tiana. We are going to eat some breakfast in Guatemala City. Yes. We've been driving for two hours and we drove, it's beautiful now, we drove through rain, fog, uh, avalanches, bicyclists, holes in the road, cows walking down the street. No. We've seen it all. I have. You guys were laying down. I was driving. White knuckle gripping the steering wheel driving. Ah! <laughs> Couldn't even see where I was going driving. Anyway, we're here. We're going to have a good day in the capital and then head back home this afternoon. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, get ready. We're going into Samako. It is the equivalent of Target here. And I'm warning you, I turned the volume down on the, on the video. So you might have to adjust yours a little bit. The kids were excited. Please, 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 mommy, please. Okay, yeah, that's Santa. What are those? Please, can we have this? Yeah. Okay, you have that Santa. No, I want it. No, we're not gonna get that right now. We can get. We can get one of these. Santa. Mommy, what's this? Y'all have sheets on your bed that are nice, don't you? Pillows. Unicorns, stuffed animals, all kinds of fun stuff. Wow. What's this? Okay, don't grab it, everything. Yeah, it's my baby. Yes. My baby. Yes. Look. Yes. Look, Mom. Yes. Look, 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 look. Yes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. It's like in the hotel, huh, Giovanni? Giovanni needs a safe. Okay, come on. Come on. Oh, I need Come And after the shopping trip, guess what? I surprised the kids with Chuck E. Cheese. Man, did they have fun. There we go. One, two, three.
Are you happy? And a surprise visit by none other than Chuck E. Cheese himself. Man, the kids thought that was just awesome. I had so much fun watching them have fun and play. Wasn't that great? And breakfast at home the next morning. Amelia is stressed. She gets sick to her stomach sometimes in the that? morning, so she's really worried about eating those eggs. Well, just eat what you can eat, okay? Maya no wants to eat what's eggs. Okay. What are you eating? Oh. Maya, and Tom, bacon, and Nana, what about Ooh, is it good? Giovanni, what are you eating? Oh. Oh my goodness. Liza allergic to eggs. No, she's not. Is it good, Giovanni? Yeah. Good. She can't eat eggs. And showing off my new pillow covers. I finally got pillows for them. Yay! Okay. A quick video to show you the entry of our home because we are changing the floor um, in the next couple of months. And each one of these tiles, three tiles this way and two across. So one, two, three, four, five, six will be one solid tile and it will be gray. So it'll be different and beautiful. All of it, one solid thing. So that'll be nice. Um, this wall will get repaired here because the water from rainy season has leaked through the wall once again. And so they'll have to repair that and seal the leaks. Anyway, all of these beams will be covered in wood and all of these boob lights, as we call them, will uh, be gone and we will have recessed lighting in here. Um, the kitchen we're rethinking because we don't like when you walk in. This is the kitchen over here. This is normally wasted space right here, but we, we've got all of our new appliances ready to go. Um, but this is just not the way we want to look when people walk into our house. Hi, Giovanni. Okay, so this right now is where the kids hang their backpacks for school and school will be out in the next couple of weeks, so those will be put away. Texas flag that needs to be put up on the terraza, but we don't have a pole to put that on, so we're waiting. Dog kennel is what the puppy sleeps in at night. This is our current living space up here. Yes, buddy. Current living space up here, which we, we like just simple. We like two chairs and the sofa. We'd love to have a rug, but with um, kids and dogs, it's not possible. And in Guatemala, not a good idea either. So um, we may eventually put in some kind of, you know, big area throw rug that we can clean. But right now, this is the way it is. So um, I think for the furniture up here, it'll stay, but the gray flooring will go all the way through here and the beams and the bo boob lights, all of that will change. And then when you come over here, this table will be cut in a rectangular shape to go upstairs and the square piece at the end will go down to the movie room so the kids will have somewhere to sit and watch movies and snack. Um, these are our refrigerator freezer units, our new units that are going to go there. This wall here in an L shape and out here will all be colorful, beautiful tile, um, big planks of tile, not little pieces, but big planks of beautiful tile all the way across to connect it in. Um, so fridge and freezer here, and that will just, I mean, it'll just look so much better. And instead of this, we'll have a big, 
nice island with cabinets under it so that we can sit around it to eat and also utilize the space for other things. This refrigerator will go upstairs to the terraza, but it can't go up there until they complete that area. This back here, when you walk in and you see all of our stuff, we don't like that. We don't like the way this looks. We don't want to see a trash can, a water bottle, fruit and bread and all of that out on the counters. Um, yeah. So this will become the stove, oven, plancha. This will be a big, huge, um, uh, it's stoned in, but it's the, the um, vent hood. So all of this will be stove and oven and plancha, nice stoned area for vent hood. Let me show you a picture of what we're going for here. See this? More, more um, along these styles here. Something along this style is what we're going for. Probably more like this where you can't see the vent hood. Um, the corner right here that you can see that will be this corner here where the clock is. So we'll cut this cabinet off. It'll all be new cabinetry, nice cabinet here, little cabinet here, which will round and include all of this area as a butler pantry then. Um, so stove and area here, this will become the sink and dishwasher area so that when people walk in, they don't see all of our mess. And all of this will be cabinetry here. And of course, like I said, this will go upstairs. So there will be a built-in spot for toaster and microwave oven. Everything will have a place instead of sitting around like we have it because we just don't have enough space. Um, this, as I said, is the new oven and um, stovetop. These are the pieces and parts to the new fridge and freezer, which we can't open and use until we get water run to it. And they'll do that when they do the um, redo the floor. So, and they've got to redo some electrical behind it still. This light will also go as lovely as that is, that big box will disappear. Um, this is currently the plancha. This is the new dishwasher. This is the microwave. And then the new sink is right here. This fridge will have to disappear because it builds up so much condensation that um, it leaks all over the floor. So on this wall, as I said, little short cabinet space here to wrap around and include this here will have like a barn door on it and we'll shelve it and use this wall for cans and spices and thin items. But I mean, we can utilize that whole space there. This back here, we'll keep, this is our nice cleaning closet. These are supplies that I bought the ladies and so I'll have to put those away. This door will be um, blocked in. It'll be part of the wall. Um, that's the door to the bathroom for the master bedroom. So we don't want to share it. This door is to our current um, keep all clutter room. So this is cleaning supplies and tools and all kinds of stuff. And it's also the electrical box. Um, but this will become an, a guest bathroom. That's what we're gonna do, guest bathroom here. So all of this will be cabinetry. Um, we'll be able to keep out like our coffee maker and blenders and things like that. Um, not such a wide, we don't want big wide counters through here, more narrow. Um, but a lot more space to keep things. And then we'll have kind of a, another cabinet here. So that when people walk in, they'll see the nice cabinetry and then they won't be able to see all the stuff out. But it'll be included in the kitchen space, which will be really, really nice. All the flooring will be one, one all the way through like it is now, but it'll be the nice big planks of gray. So um, just on a video because all of this is gonna change in the next couple of months and um, as they finish up on the terraza and then we'll have to go upstairs to utilize our kitchen space because we won't be able to use any of this space for I envision at least six months because that's kind of the pace of things around here. So I wanted to get it on video before they start demolition and that should be ripping out this floor. They should get started in about two weeks. Oh, these crazy girls. I don't think Giovanni quite knows what to think of them sometimes. They're just having fun being cutie patooties. Okay. And this is how we prove Giovanni did his homework. Is this how you do it? And here Amelia is Where? reading a book that first is in English okay. and then on the bottom it's in Spanish. And she wants to do it so bad, but daggum she gets frustrated. Next page. And 
Just just read the next and, page. But I have to read this too. You just said Paolo. That's the very last word. This is Paolo. So here you go. All right. I found a spot. Mm -mm. St stone. Mm -hmm. I found a stone. And encontré un e. My mom. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Piedra. Piedra. Él compró un piedra. Okay, what's this one say? I found a leaf. Él compró un hoja. Okay, very good. I found a feather. Encontré un una. Okay, she's about to give it up. She is so tired. When she gets tired, she just cannot quit moving. When she's stressed, she moves. When she's anxious, she moves. She's about to give it up right now. She's had enough. I found six stuff. Six what? Six things. things. All, All together. together. En compré seis cosas en, en todo. To total. There you go. Very good. Now you can read it for you. Okay, mm -hmm. ready? English. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. The sun Sh shine. The sun shiny. The sh sun shines. The <laughs> sun shines. Okay. A so. L. L. So. Bria. Oh, Lordy, between the two girls, it's a wonder I'm not more crazy than I actually am by now. Turn the page, turn the page. She uses her tongue for everything. What is this word? Mm 
I should say. In Spanish, how do we say that? Me. Mis. And we can't leave Giovanni out. He had to do some homeschool online and he did a darn good job. Mia and I taking our little walk in the morning. I've already cleaned off. You see all these pine, you can't really see a whole bunch here, but these pine needles and everything's still wet. It was like that, only worse, all in front of our house. And the guardians usually clean all that up. But it's a helicopter. But we only have one guardian instead of two right now. And um, he is just overworked, poor guy. So anyway, I got out my blower because they use like a broom, a broom, and they sweep all of this. And a rake right here in the dirt, a broom. Anyway, so I got out here um, in front of my house and the property we just purchased with my blower. I love those things. And I just cleaned her up, but it took me over an hour of work to clean all of, you know, blowing all of these pine needles and then we have other you know big leaves and things and um anyway we got it all cleaned up and i said let's go for a walk mia because you know we were under hurricane warning for several days and um they kept the kids home from school for three days all of the things and why not because um wind and all of that but so much rain and then landslides there's just landslides everywhere so um and then a lot of places where the road just kind of opens up. <laughs> and so they wanted to make sure everybody was safe. So the kids stayed home and did uh, online school. Giovanni did. The girls didn't have to do anything. Isn't it beautiful though now after all the rain? It's just gorgeous. So um, Mia and I didn't get to walk for several days. So this is her first day out. Look at that. It's just gorgeous. These are all pine trees. But look at all the greenery, the foliage all around them growing up and and then of course the corn here they've thinned it out they i mean this was thick and it looks like they're growing beans or something underneath come on mia come on mia come on so yeah this is our little walk i just think it's beautiful we cleaned this out this was all thick with corn too they're already growing the next crop good thing about guatemala is it's eternal spring so you can grow crops you know, one right after the other. I'm sure, you know, at times they let the land rest, but for the most part, they use it. It's pretty fertile. Come on, Mia, you're smelling everything. There must have been a dog through here. All right, let's go. We're on, we're bound. Could it be? Yeah. Are we finally getting the doors? Oh my gosh, I think we're getting the doors. Holy cow, I can't wait. And the girls actually wanted to take the trash. Gianna's picking her seat. There they go, carrying the trash up to the top of the hill. And Giovanni being one of the guys helping him work, and Gianna practicing her speech. Listen to mommy. Yeah. Say kip. Kip. Now say skip. Sick. No. Kip. Kip. Skip. Sick. Kip. 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 There you go. Skill. Wonderful. And why is she practicing? Well, just give this one a listen. Hello. Okay. Say hi, Grandma Jojo. Hi, Grandma Jojo. Tell her, tell her what you do. You can blow a spit bubble. I can blow a shit bubble. Can you blow? Does Giovanni spit? Tell her Giovanni does spit. Shit. He does? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, well, blow another, say spit bubble. 
Shit bubble. Hi, Grandma Jojo. Do you want to not say spit? Like she said shit. But I, but she has to say spit. Spit. When you say walk, she says walk. You have to say walk. Bye, Grandma. Here, Giovanni's working on his final math exams for the year. School's almost out. There they all are, taking their exams, and Giovanni's over there, too. And here's my cutie patooties once again, holding a baby doll. The work continues up on the terraza, bit by bit, step by step, looky, but looky, progress is gone. progress, after all. They still got a stain, though. Aren't they beautiful? Wow. They had to cut down part of the avocado branches to get the door to shut. And this is their workspace. Windows. We don't have glass in the windows yet, but the wood out, outside part, the frame, is there. And another door. They're just installing them. Aren't they pretty? And they'll have these beautiful uh, handles. Pretty, pretty. And that'll keep the kitchen closed. Nice, huh? Coming along. Wowzers, look what a difference the stain made. Holy camoly, isn't it beautiful? I just cannot get enough of the view. It's just absolutely gorgeous and it changes every couple of minutes. And just another look down below as they continue to work and build the wall. I make a lot of these videos for Sergio as he's in Texas working and uh, I kind of want him to see what's going on here and to make his suggestions and that sort of thing. So yeah, these a lot of times are more for him than for anybody, but there you go. Look at that. Up there, the men are working. Down below, the men are working. Inside, the women are working. Work, 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 work. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Say a prayer for me. I'll say a prayer for you, and I'll see you on the next video. And get ready. Here's the band.
awesome. Did you like it? Yeah. Want me to do, tell him to do it again? No. Huh? I just told them to do it again. You can tell them. Do yeah. it again. Yeah. Okay, tell, tell them. Do it, do it again. Do it again. Yeah. You like your shoes? Yeah. Show mommy your shoes. Show mommy your shoes. Like that. All right. <laughs>